Jets have taken their technology to the second level, man. And, you know, this is a tremendous experience. I'm just happy I can be a part of it. All right, we've got the kickoff for the championship game. Who is going to Orlando for the Mac 18 Club Championships, where all 32 teams will have a representative down in Orlando during the Pro Bowl the last weekend of January. So first up will be Franchise rocking the all-green Jets gang green jerseys there. Ice will be uh, with the white jerseys on defense. So Franchise gets the ball first, likes to control the clock. So this is pretty much strength versus strength. Well, you, well, you saw in the first game, they had an opportunity to scout each other. Clowney meeting Bo Jackson. I look, I, I look forward to seeing that matchup all day, see which one's going to make the big plays. You know, Clowney comes in, lays a nice stick on Bo Jackson. But in the first game, Bo Jackson was able to wear down the defense and franchise dropping back, surveying the field, going for something deep early. And don't care about ice. Tremendous play. <laughs> don't give up the big plays, youngster. So a run for no yards. A first pass by... I believe it's quarterback Sue Jared Goff. Uh, incomplete there for Franchise. So third and 10 for Franchise uh, at his own 25-yard line. Going to get into that. Rocket formation. Like it. Bo trying, Jackson. To get, trying to get some space. Motioning over the trips. Nice bunch. Looking for some type of dragon route. The theme of the day has been horizontal routes. Trying to get guys on drags to be able to sit in zones. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Oh, good Going break deep. there. Tipped in the air and it's caught. I think that's turnover. Richard Sherman, early turnover for Ice, and it's going the other way that was, that was uh, Sherman there, Richard Sherman, the Legion of Boom. So, don't care about Ice, does the deal. You couldn't ask for a better possession. start. You couldn't ask for a better start if you don't care about Ice. I'm just going to call him Ice. Don't care about Ice gets a little bit long for me. I don't have that much wind in my lungs. I'm just going to say Ice. Ice has a big turnover, got the short football field. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. I was just going to say, defensively, can he force Franchise into throwing the ball, something that he really doesn't want to do. He takes Carson Wentz there and picks up about seven yards. Actually, they only gave him five. Good and we, job, because that's where you should have spotted with the slide. Second down and five for Ice. And we saw a lot of that the first game. We saw that Ice is not afraid to use Carson Wentz in a run game if he sees that everything's covered up. And Franchise not afraid to run Bo Jackson. Oh, be careful, and it's oh. knocked down. He got away with one. Got hands like Bart Scott. <laughs> Couldn't come up with that pick there. Third down and five. When you look at Don't Care About Ice, he's got those three speedy receivers, Stephon Diggs, Paul Richardson, and T.Y. Hilton, the former FIU or FIU Florida International down there in Miami. And T.Y. Hilton was the player of the game for him on the first game. Let's see if he can get T.Y. Hilton open maybe across the middle or maybe a skinny post or a bang eight. Bang eight. That's it right there. Gun tight formation over there. Carson looking. Got a receiver over Buchanan. Falls out of bounds. Stayed in bounds, but fell backwards. He's going to come up about a yard or two short. Absolutely. Fourth and two for Ice here. Definitely got to go for this right here. Oddly enough, you know, two, these guys have common players. So David Clowney is a very popular player, and Joey Bosa as well. Fourth down and two. Carson Wentz barking out the signals. Gun tight, got the motion, going back across the field. He's got B or he's got the running back. Oh, and it's a bad pass. Oh, wow, he had him. Sure did. Incomplete turnover for Franchise. He gets the rock going back the other way, Bart. And you got to take advantage of the turnover. Short field, opportunity to put points on the board to end up empty-handed. It's got to be ejected. First down and 10 for a franchise deep. Bo Jackson running hard with that neck roll. Going to come up short. Second down and nine. We'll give him a gain of one yard there. Jadavian Clowney, you called it, on the tackle for Ice. I tell you what, I like Jadavian Clowney at the second level because he's a sure-handed tackler and it's hard. You know, that first, that, that stretch boss play, like we like to call it, was very successful for franchise in the first game. It's going to be important that Clowney can make sure that he's able to match physicality. Wow, look at that quick little hitter across the middle of the field. First pass completed for Jared Goff over the middle. So it'll be third down and one for Franchise. Dangerous pass there across the middle like that. Absolutely. But once again, we got that sink front, so the edges are exposed. We got guys open there. The, the edge, or we call the force players being set by the safeties. We'll see if they can be effective. He's got those four defensive linemen in there. Nice. In a little pitch formation almost. We call that TNT. 
TNT. What does that stand for? Tackle nose tackle sink. Sink formation. That's oh, a great interception. The youngster Trap with the coverage. second pit going back the other way. And he baited him. And I didn't know if the youngster was going to talk trash to the elder. Yes, he will. Take a look at it again. There he is. Sitting back. Oh, he came from the flats into the receiver and jumped it. And we're heading back the other way. First and 10. Handoff. Coleman got some speed, gets to the outside. Oh, hit down low. Cut down by Paul Krause. Gain of eight there at second down and two. Ice is going to have to come away with something. You cannot have two turnovers in, in, in your territory and come away empty-handed. You got to capitalize. Gun bunch for the young Iceman. All the way here from Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. And he's got a receiver and he's got his linebacker, Buchanan. And that's a gain of about seven or eight. We'll give him a first down there. Move the sticks. First down and ten for Iceman. And he's getting in the rhythm. He's getting in the rhythm. He's starting to see the field. The game is starting to slow down for him. And he's starting to get in the groove. Two minutes left here in the first quarter. A couple of turnovers for a franchise. Oh, toe drag swag like that. Dangerous pass. But he didn't in a complete it. Small window. It's very dangerous as it was defender sinking from the flats. Very dangerous. Good ball placement though, up high. Let his receiver look too much on the sideline. Failed to complete that pass. Second down and 10 for Ice. Carson Wentz in the gun. Here comes the blitz. Got a receiver across the middle and it's caught by Paul Richardson. Down to about the 10. Good job there on that skinny post. That's what he scored with in the game when he touched down in his Absolutely. last game against AKG. Absolutely. And you have to score when, you, when you're going on your 15-play your script because I think the franchise will make some of the adjustments as you get used to playing them. He has to take advantage early. Gun bunch. Hands off to Coleman. Had some room outside, inside. Too much dancing. To take it out right. Exactly. Too much dancing around. It's a loss of two. Second down and 12. Talk about the red zone and things being condensed. How much of an advantage that is for the defense? Well, it's an advantage to the defense because they don't have to defend as much as the football field. And what happens is routes, you have to throw the ball early. You can't really have a lot of five and seven step drops because things don't come open. You want to have more horizontal routes. As, he, as Ice decides to scramble, it's very dangerous running with Carson Wentz. But you got to go for broke when you're down here in the red zone as points are become as a premium. How about that, a two-man rush? I'm not real big into the two- and three-man rush. Even in the red zone, just give the quarterback too much time to let those receivers open up. You saw Carson Wentz running on the sideline. Did a good job of staying and tiptoeing on the sideline. So if he does fumble it, maybe goes out of bounds. There's Coleman. Breaks inside the five. Down to about the one. We'll have third and one. And I or believe fourth and one from the one-yard line. And it's amazing that he can still get a first down. That's the amazing part. That he can't inside the one. Is it like the one-inch line? It the is. half a half an inch line? Maybe the one-foot line. You may think about going over the top, diving over the top. Does he go for it or does he take the points? He came here to win. That's what he said. As you said, quarterback sneak, not as easy to do in 2018 as it was in the 2017. Fourth down and one oh, here. Oh, false start. Doesn't you matter. can't have turnovers on the one-yard line. You definitely got to take the three points now. Does it matter? Will he still go for it? You got to take the three. In this game where the defenses have been playing well, he does decide to go and take the three. Ice about to kick the field goal. Snap, place, kick, good. And with 35 seconds left, we have our first score of the ball game. Ice gets on the board. He has the three nothing lead over the top seed franchise. Earl Thomas the third. Gotta get out of the end zone there. Don't screw around too much. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get a little suspense. He's still big. These guys are both shoulder. All right, he's gonna do a substitution here. And this is what I'm talking about when you talk about franchise. He's been here before. He's known, he knows how to make the adjustments, and if you can't win with plan A, you got to go to plan B, and he has a plan B, and I'm sure he has a plan C. Well, back to plan A, it looks like, with the single, with the wing, the single wing back there, so got a flag on the play. Encroachment by Young Ice, so it'll be first and five, so we'll go back to franchise with that single back. 
see what he does out of the single back formation that he likes here. Get a little run game action going. No, he's going to go with the turns to the right there. Bo Jackson back. Gets the ball. Off tackle. Got some room. Picks up five. Oh, runs over a tackle right there. And Reed <laughs> send the spikes. The cleats of Bo Jackson. I tell you what, that's one of his go-to plays. It's stretched to the right. You know, I wonder if you if you start to play that and start shifting your lineman over there to try and take that play away. Bo Jackson back to the right side this time. Is brought down by Richard Sherman and Paul Krause. Swarming defense. Uh, swarming defense right now. It's hard to take Bo Jackson down with one person. you got to swarm and take your shot. That's why you see a lot of people picking Paul Krause. You can see him right there. Sure tackler, sure handed. One of the all-time leaders in interceptions. Very popular player at Madden Ultimate Team in the community. Second down and eight. That's what I love about Madden. You, you're in these tournaments. You're able to pay homage to the greats that played the game, and you expose some of these young guys to people that they may have never known about if it wasn't for the game. I want that 2010 Bart Scott. Oh, I'm stuck out. Oh, diving catch there. Great catch by the goat Jerry Rice. Caught him on that dare ground. Had three guys around him. Didn't matter. Gain of 22. First down and 10 for Franchise, trailing 3-0. 444 left in the second quarter. In the first game, Rice played when was big for Franchise. Let's see if he goes to him. He's going back to Old Faith for Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson gets a positive yardage. So I believe a game of, gain, a gain of seven. Oh, we'll call it six. Second and four. Now he has options. You're right there. I'm watching the edge there. I'm watching that end to Devion Clowney. Uh, it's like the old Rex Ron Bill Belichick setting the edge. He crashed in and he created that space there for Bo Jackson on the right side. Second down and four. Jackson off this time to Devion Clowney getting off the block and able to stop Bo Jackson there before he gets outside. So third down and five for Franchise. Trailing 3 nothing to ice. They continue play here. The fine staff of EA, RG, and... Travis and the gang up here doing a great job once again with the Madden Club Championship. Another live final. We were in Seattle last week. Here with the Jets tonight. Got the Buffalo Bills coming up this weekend on December 3rd. Got the Dolphins. Huge rivals of the Jets. That will be next Thursday, December 7th down there uh, in Miami Gardens at Hard Rock Stadium. Third down and five for Franchise. Trailing his in the uh, green on green jerseys. Pants. Ice gotta get the, the, gotta get the snap off. Got it off just in time. Oh, to way, to put, way to put pressure on him. Ah, I wonder if he could have gotten around him and maybe picked up a few yards there. Jared Goff has shown that he can scramble a little bit. Fourth down and five. Franchise will kick the field goal. It's going to be a 47-yard field goal attempt. It's up. And it is good. And we're tied with under three minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. 3-3, the top seed, and the upstart looking for the upset. Young don't care about ice. They're starting to get very comfortable with each other. They're starting to figure out what their, you know, the concepts are and what their game plan is. And I think this is when the adjustment's going to come. Now the game has started. They're both tied up. They both got the jitters, the butterflies out their stomach. Now we're going to see what they're made out of. First down and 10. Ice with the ball again. Look at that. Total yards of even, pretty much. Both around 50 yards. Defenses have played well. Coleman up. That's what he can do right there. Hits the right side and takes it up the field. Nice little one cut. Gain of about seven. His best run of the day. Second down and three for Ice Bart. Beautiful zone running. Seeing the seam and getting vertical. That's a good thing about going laterally because you're going to get these horizontal seams open. Got a receiver off the left-hand side. Did he get those toes he? down? He did not. Oh, Third pivotal, down and pivotal. three coming up. You got to make a play for your quarterback. Third and three. You can't give the ball back to the franchise. He's starting to get hot, starting to figure it out. You got to pick this up. If anything, to flip the field and get another set of downs and take some more time off the clock. Give your defense the opportunity to rest. Third and three. Blitz got picked up, and he's got Stephon Diggs coming across the middle. Gain of about nine. That'll move the sticks. First down and ten for Ice. Clock will continue to tick. With three minutes, ten seconds left in the first half. Got a tied ball game, tied to three. Ice with the ball around midfield, Mark. Bunch formation, Coleman offset, motion to the field, rocket formation, opportunity to go four verts. We go horizontal with two deep routes. 
Oh, overthrown. I think that was just a throwaway. A lot of the same action here in their passing formations. Crossers coming around the middle, and then you got the corner routes going behind them. So he's trying to hit the crossing route to hit that corner. He's having a hard time hitting that crossing route. Yeah, what he's trying to do is trying to get the linebackers to suck up and get something down the field. Franchise doing a great job in keeping his defense and getting depth by his linebackers to make those windows difficult. And Ice is running out of running out of field. Second down and ten for Ice, and there he's got a little skinny post across the middle, a little slant to T. Y. Hilton. Gain of a we'll give him ten yards on that move. The sticks first down and ten for Ice. On the move here, late stages of the second quarter, about two minutes and 38 seconds left here. As we're live, Larry Ridley, Bart Scott, the former Jet great, Midline Stadium, the Toyota Club for the Madden 18 Jets Championship. Oh, he got him. He's, He's going to have to make a decision. NJ. He's got to make a decision. He's got to throw it away. He's going to throw it out of bounds there. He had X for a split second. Was not able to pull the trigger there, Bart. Absolutely. It's all about timing. You know, these guys have to do the scramble drill, hope that your receivers come back to you or get up the field and make themselves available for you. Right now, you can't hold on to the ball. Franchise doing a great job in pulling the man out of coverage to put the pressure on him and make him make a decision. You know, the kid from Seattle last week, Killer Mike, the kid from the Air Force, the Air Force Command Controller, did a great job of that. He converted six fourth downs. Wow. I'm not talking fourth and two. I'm talking fourth and 22, and he was doing that with Randy Moss. Spinning out, got taken off, doing a great job of readjusting his route. Converted six or seven long fourth downs to win the Seahawks championship. Good well, job there by Ice. Well, you know, that's what's different. You talk about Ice, he has smaller receivers, so you can't really throw the ball at vertically and let them go over the top and make a play. He has very speedy receivers. That's why I think he's using a lot of horizontal routes, hoping that they can get across the field and, and get it open. One thing I have noticed, franchise has been quiet. Where's the fight, franchise? It's about time, and you can tell right now he's starting to awake a little bit. <laughs> We've got an awakening here. Well, he's, well, he's waking after the big play. You know, uh, <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how that, well, how that handles. It's the ebb and flow of the game. We'll see how Ice responds if he's able to make a big play. There is the awakening. Fourth and 14 for Ice. Ah, uh, do you punt it? No. I don't know. Madden. Do you pick up fourth and 14? and give Franchise the opportunity to have a ball on the short field. He is going to punt it with Sebastian Janikowski. Smart move. The hefty lefty. I just saw a kid last week that sat there, fourth and 22. I'm not punting. That's what I'm talking about, but great. probably punt. smart and strategic by Ice here. Make him have to march 80, 80. You've already had two turnovers. Your defense is playing great. Hopefully they can give you another turnover as Franchise try to take the lead before the halftime. First down for Franchise, plenty of time though. He's got two timeouts, Ice with all three of his timeouts. Plus 43 left, and there's the handoff to Bo Jackson. Falls forward for maybe a yard. Nope, call it a gain of none. Second and 10. He's a Ice and, only, he's only giving up 49 yards. Both this, defense this, is playing well. This is what I'm talking about, the adjustments. Yeah, I, if, I'm, if I'm Franchise, I'm flipping that formation and trying to see if that left that left linebacker can, can, can do the job like Clowney did. I'm going to run away from Clowney. I'm going to flip the formation. He's got him open. Got up the him middle. open across the middle. Jerry Rice to go. Great job on that slant route there. Jared Goff, two picks, but he does complete the pass there. He's three of seven. Tick, 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 tick. About a minute to play. First and 10. Franchise on the move. On his own 44-yard line. Plenty of time. Carson Wentz going across the and middle. Oh, it. for the Again. third time. Richard Sherman a pick for Ice. Oh, and a great move there. Swerving around. And that's why you punt the football. Franchise is starting to become predictable. Run to the right. Bang gate with Jerry Rice. And uh, I think Ice has figured that out. Now he's going to have to make another adjustment. That's why you punt the ball. Even in Madden. Make him march 80. Good job there. How about the young kid showing some fight? First and 10 for, for Ice. And he's got a receiver across. And it's Stephon Diggs across the middle of the field. That's been open. I, I didn't want to say it, but it's been open all day. It's a late check down. <laughs> it's a late check down as you run everybody off and you get somebody to go short. And he has room to run after the catch. He's got the, the corner routes behind him. But if you sneak that little slant in or the dig on the backside, it's there all along. And there's... 
Coleman off the right-hand side. He's got six carries, 28 yards, picks up four there, Bart. Second and six. Manage the clock. It's very important here. And you get a touchdown, it might alter the game. Absolutely. He has two timeouts. Want to make sure you get your best play going on. Franchise takes a timeout as he's trying to make some adjustments. Hopefully he's trying to go and figure out how he can not let any points get on the board. Field goal or touchdown. Big turnover. Live here at Metline Stadium, the Toyota Club. Want to thank our sponsors, Old Spice, b &H Photo, and Pepsi for the Madden 18 Jets Championship presented by Reach and Jay. Larry Ridley alongside the former Jet great Bart Scott. Can't wait. That's well, 60 cent. Open. He had him open. I did it again. That's 60 cent now, right? I said can't wait. That's Absolutely, six times. Baby. My kid's going to college tonight. <laughs> You'll probably get a dollar out of it. <laughs> and I'm going to invest that dollar. I'm going to put it all on black. <laughs> Third down and six for Young Ice. Don't care about Ice. Inside the red zone. This is the money zone as Bart Scott and the, the Jets and the Ravens used to call it back in the day. Carson Wentz got him in that gun bunch. Got Coleman offset. There's the motion with Stephon Diggs. Seven would be huge here. Oh! He saw it all the way. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Good job there by Franchise. He had a beat on it. He saw that pass coming, and he picked it off with the moon face mask. Paul Krauss, watch him right here. You can see it. He jumps it. This is called And there he goes. Coverage. Robbed it Robert right there. Coverage. He it never up, backed smooth. up. Never backed up. Give it up, Smooth. That's what I'm talking about. We talk about all these horizontal routes, and then you go with the robber coverage. It's baiting, it's baiting the quarterback, and he jumps it right on cue, taking points off the board. You got to see that. Those safeties were creeping up, and he did see it. It's been there all game. We were talking about, look, you got, you got the backside slant or the, the dig coming across the front side. It's been open all day. He's been using it to matriculate down the field. Franchise, great job making the adjustment there on defense with the safety. You saw him creeping up there. This is just what you expect when you talk about playing for the championship or a right to go to Orlando. You want a tough game made with guys, both guys making plays, go stepping edge. up to the challenge. Throw it. And he is. And he got him. Wow, he didn't throw X. He went backside to the other receiver. Let's see, five seconds. Is go he here. in field goal range? Yes, you got to go. He's, no, he's going to go gun bunch. Is he going to try to get one more play? Yes, he he's going to try to get another. Well, yeah, he's got to go another, another play. He's only at the 35. I thought he was near midfield. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> he was nowhere near midfield. <laughs> Halftime here. At MetLife Stadium inside the Toyota Club of the Madden 18 Jets Championship presented by Reach NJ. And we're at a halftime. And we're tied at three between ice on the right-hand side of your screen. The top seed franchise with the Jets hat on his head. Tied at three. Bart Scott, what have you seen so far from both of these competitors? As advertised, guys are doing exactly what they do well. You talk about the defense of ice. You talk about you talk about franchise and running Bo Jackson to the right and leaning on Jerry Rice with the bang gate. We call it the skinny post. And it's been eight. effective right now. And then we're going to see who's going to make the necessary adjustments as guys are starting to get a feel for what the other one likes to do, and they're making big plays. It's interesting, like, because I played receiver in college. We, for us, the nine was the post and the uh, and the and the, and the, and the post and the slant. An eight for us was the go route. Maybe ah. we were weird that way. I don't know. Most people are still the way around, but we Plex, Plexico yeah. Burrs made the bang eight. Bang famous. eight, absolutely. It's not a it's not a exact, it's a skinny post. It's mm -hmm. not a big post, it's just a skinny one. Just slight. Keep it inside of that safety right up there, yeah. right up through the hash. Yeah, don't get me knocked out. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't want to go get night, him knocked night. out. Madden 18 Jets Championship presented by Reach NJ. We're at halftime of this championship game between franchise and don't care about ice. Let's take a look at the highlights and how we got here with the score tied at three here inside of the Toyota Club. And you can see Franchise off and running first, but a great job there. Getting the tip by Don't Care About Ice, the first of three interceptions he would have, Bart. Tip balls change games. When you talk about you know, being in the game and defense wins championships, just for the right to go to a championship, it's been a defensive struggle as both guys have stepped up and made plays. You know, you talk about Bo Jackson having some success, but also you talk about Franchise stepping up right before the half, keeping points off the board, keeping it a 3-3 game. That's huge. 
both guys well under 100 yards total offense uh, at one point about three minutes ago both guys around 50 total yards so uh, both defenses are doing a great job of going the neck and, and, and getting off the field and there you can see that was the third interception the second right right there by Richard Sherman so great job by ice and also a franchise both of the defenses doing a great job keeping uh, keeping everything in front of them uh, and being prepared for the offense uh, that the other side presents. Tell you what, defensive players got, got families too. I'm excited to see a low-scoring game, and let's see who's going to dare to be great, like I said, and come out, who knows, 6-3. That's a beautiful I, game. I don't want to see another 6-3 game. game. I, I'm begging you guys. I'm imploring you guys, please. Give us some offense, although there's something to be said uh, that those guys are really doing a great job with the defense. So we're tied at three here at halftime of the Madden 18 Jets Championship presented by Reach NJ. You've got franchise and you've also got Don't Care About Ice. The young guy doing a pretty good job. He's he's been there. He just can't convert when he's can got you know when he's got those interceptions and, and, and getting into the end zone. Tell you what, I can't wait. The second half is going to be better than the first as the pressure continues to mount. Let's see who's going to burst. You ask for it. Let's go ahead and get it. The second half is about to kick off here at MetLife Stadium, uh, inside the real MetLife Stadium, and also and virtual TV right here on Madden 18. Madden 18, the Jets championship presented by Reach NJ. We're going to start the second half. Franchise, what I would like to see him do get back to his run game. Yeah. Get back to the run, Jackson. but it's been difficult to do with Javion Clowney. He's coming down. He's matching force with force. I'd like to see maybe Bo go to the left-hand side. Maybe avoid Javion Clowney. You brought that up. He had a little success there, but not enough. I mean, we're talking both guys, 60 yards total offense. Nothing really doing uh, for both offenses. Maybe start hitting that left side a little bit and test out those guys. Or maybe, hey, man, this is a championship. How about a little trickeration? Let's see if anybody can pull a cat out the hat. Well, you, you talk about it, though. You got Clowney on one side for ice. Well, you know who his other end is on the right side? Bosa. Joey Bosa. So it, it wouldn't, it's not like it'd be easy for him to get on that left-hand side, but uh, maybe you can try it to see if Bosa would be up for the challenge. Got a fumble there and it's picked back up. Don't care about ice. We'll get the ball first here in the second half of a 3-3 ball game. And he's got him, a receiver. T.Y. Hilton, Once he was again, huge for him the first game. With that corner route, it's been corner routes and slants and digs across the middle. That's what we're getting uh, here in this Madden 18 Jets Championship presented by Reach NJ. First and 10, Coleman off the left-hand side. There is the sure-handed or sure tackle. Kraus. Kraus. Uh, he can play in any, any era. <laughs> Some can. guys transcend his generation. <laughs> He can play in any era. You got to like the, the, the elbow pads, man. It's just like, wow. That's old school. That's the Patrick Ewing elbow pads. That, right that is. The elbow pads. Who used to wear Hi, the elbow Ryan. pads? Herschel Walker. Yeah, All right. Man. He used to wear the elbow pads. Think about the elbow pads. They're only good for two or three games. That's the elastic wear out. That's about, two, <laughs> two, about 30 carries. Second down and nine. He's got a receiver. Got oh, him. and it's caught by T.Y. Hilton. Again there. He's went First to the well. And ten. He's going to that well often. Yes. If you've noticed, he's staying away from the middle of the field. Yeah. Franchise with that last pick spooked him but from he's going back towards the middle of the field. But, he, but he's also catching him in cover one as he's putting that robber coverage down. If you go two seams up the, up the uh, rail, then you're going to have two guys against the safety. Gun bunch with motion to the other side. He's got to get rid of it, and he does. Carson Smart Wentz decision. throws it out of bounds. Sometimes you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Absolutely. That was the time there to just go ahead and get rid of it. There's a shot of the top seed franchise with the Jets hat on. Big Jets fan. And there's the upstart, the kid. Don't care about ice. George Schwartz, he says he's 18. I see a little peach fuzz around that, around that top lip there. I might give him 16. He got a little I'm not giving him 18. He got a little T.I. stash going on right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ice with the uh, handoff to Coleman off the left-hand side. Gain of four there. Third down and six for Ice. Once again on the move in the territory of franchise. Can he make something happen? Can he put some points on the board here? Huge third down, Bart. He's already in field goal range. Let's not do anything silly. You can't take a sack. You got to get even a positive yardage or throw the ball away to have opportunity for three. Third and six. Got the gun bunch once again. Motion going back to the left side. He's got the crossers. Which one is he going with? And he's got once again the seven route. The corner route is just Stephon killing him. Dix. It's huge because when you run the when you run the, the 
the crossers, what happens is it's going to eat up the corner. Then you're going to have an opportunity in the safety, but it has to be delivered on time. He's getting it on time the last couple of plays. It's putting stress on those backers and the safeties. He's got to figure out what he wants to do about that. And it's Coleman around the right side. Can, Can he, he get, get it in? He does have the juice to get in there. And that's a house call for Coleman. And the youngster don't care about ice from Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. On the scoreboard again with the first touchdown of the game. 9-3, PAT up and good. It is a 10-3 game with 3.22 left in the third. We are on upset alert, Bart Scott. Franchise has been here before. Let's see how he responds. Once again, you talk about giving, having three turnovers in the first half. If Ice can get a turnover this game, this half, he can, he can really put some pressure on Franchise. That may have been the first missed tackle I've ever seen Paul Krause have. Hey, Amen. Ever. Even a broken, yeah, even a garbage can gets a stake every once in a while. <laughs> first down and 10 for a Franchise. As you can see, that last possession, good yardage there. Uh, by Ice. He's up to uh, almost 170 yards of total offense. And there it is. Hands it off to Bo Jackson. Left side. Get off me. Bo's running with there. anger. Wow. Bo's running with anger. I see why he wears the neck roll. Todd Bowles excited on the sidelines. Speaking of Todd Bowles in the Jets' big game this weekend here at MetLife Stadium Sunday against the Kansas City Chiefs. And look at Bo Jackson once again. But Sherman, Sherman, Sherman coming in. Second down and 10 for Franchise. Guys, real quickly, while we got a second, I want to talk about Jets House. It's back for 2018 on January 27th and 28th at Spin New York, presented by Green Giant. Join the team the weekend before the big game for a can't-miss experience in New York City, including appearances from current Jets players and Jets legends, all-inclusive food and beverage, live entertainment, and more. For our special Madden audience tonight, go to NewYorkJets.com slash Jets House and enter the code JH05. Once again, enter the code JH05 for the Madden audience. NewYorkJets.com. JH05 is the code for an exclusive pre-sale. Don't miss out on it. Jets House. Go to NewYorkJets.com, guys. Once again, enter the code J. As in John, H is in house, 05 for an exclusive pre-sale. Don't miss out on that. It's good stuff there. I've been to that event. Oh, absolutely. I tell you what, Sherman almost went for another interception. It was a huge breakup right there. Would have been a pivotal play in the game. Fourth and three. Let's see if Franchise can pick up the conversion. He's going for it in his own territory. Huge play in the game right Danger here. territory right here. Matt Backer, Bart Scott. Dangerous situation here. Can he pick up the first down? Or will he turn it over and give it back to the kid? Oh, God, and what a catch there. That qualifies as a dot right there. Dive and catch by the receiver. Great throw Krause. by Franchise. Good job there. Kraus just short. Just short. He came late, but I tell you, when you decide not to rush that many people, it puts a lot of pressure on the secondary. May have saved the ball game for Jared Goff and Franchise there. Great throw across the middle of the field there. Robert Woods coming up with the catch. Second down and five. Franchise on the move, getting close to that money zone, the green area. From the 27 yard line. Jared Goff back to pass again. He's going out to Bo Jackson. Oh, good tackle there by Joey Bosa. Joey the right Bosa end. with a huge play. Sure tackle. You talk about Clowney, you talk about Bolsa. They're sure tacklers in space, athletic enough to run with the running backs and pick up Bo Jackson in space and take him down. Huge play right here. Third down and five. Don't care about ice. Kenny Boy's neck. He's got A and he's going to hit him. Good catch there by Robert Woods. Once again, Robert Woods, a big catch for Franchise moving the sticks there. First down and 10. He's in the red area now. Ice is going to have to bring that coverage in. If he brings that coverage down into the box and take away some of his horizontals, will Franchise go deep over the top on him? Gun bunch on the left side, moves it over to the right side. Got a receiver in motion. He's got B. Great coverage sack. Covered sack there. Big Good job. Play. Thought he had B on the drag, that dig there. 
but the linebacker, and I mean, excuse me, the corner was sitting out there in the flat, waiting right for it. Good defense there. Ice with a very Ice. savvy move. He had it. He had Kraus taking away the deep route, and then he switched to the linebacker late. Exactly. Put him right there in the flat to take away the crosser. At that time, he ran out of time. Pressure got to got to Wentz. You guys did that to New England, just clogging up the middle of the field, taking away everything. Oh, what a great open field tackle. Second and 21. This is pivotal again, third and 15. Got the goat down to the ground. And we're entering the fourth quarter. Throw those fours up. This is it, five minutes left to determine a champion. Who Can will head down to Orlando in the Pro Bowl, Bart? Can Ice pull up the upset? This will be epic. Taking out the number one seed franchise, the veteran, the young kid. From Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. About 30 miles outside of Allentown. Is that Scranton in that area? Yeah, Part man. Poconos, Scranton, all that good stuff. Great fireworks. The Poconos. Oh. Fakes it to Bo Jackson. Jared Goff looking. Oh, take away. Oh, now Prince Watch is out. coming from the backside. Coming side. from the backside. Huge play. Mm. Great coverage. He had him open that deep, I think, early. He decided not to pull the trigger. He's going for the field goal, going for the short point, going to depend and rely on his defense. Kick is up, and it is good. Franchise adding, tacking on another field goal. Four minutes, 41 seconds left. I still leading 10-6 as we head down the stretch of this Jets championship. If Ice pulls it. If Ice pulls this off, oh, he decided to go down. No one take any chances. Absolutely. Seven would probably win him the game. Let's see if he can put together the best drive of his life. He said he just started playing Madden as he wasn't old enough to play <laughs> last year as they moved the age from, from 16 18 to 16. Yeah, 16 to 18. So he's only been doing this for two years. This will be epic for his resume. First and 10, got plenty oh, of time. Yeah. Oh, be careful oh. there. What a great pick there by Franchise. And Franchise has been here before. Should have put a little bit of air under the, under the ball. He had an opportunity. He waited too late. McDonald with the pick there. Great job underneath that slant. Can Ice defense? Off. Can Ice defense stand up again? His defense has been great. Three interceptions. Bo Jackson. He's going back to his wheelhouse. Well, I'll tell you what. If you're if you're Ice, you've got plenty of time. You've got over four minutes left. Even if he scores, you're going to get the ball back. At worst, you're down three with the chance to tie or win it coming back. Franchise has to take take over and get some points on the board here, preferably a touchdown. Although, like I said, plenty of time left. I think both guys are looking at it as we both have another possession to get. I tell you, I tell you what, Franchise really been leaning heavily, but his unsung hero of the game so far has been Woods. So if you want to take away Rice and you want to take away Bo, Woods have been sneaky good today. Sure has. Huge fourth down catch and a huge third down catch the last drive for Franchise. Back in the gun bunch. Bo Jackson offset to the right-hand side. He's got him out there in the flat, but he's got Woods across the middle as well, and he speaking hits him. Of, speaking of the devil. <laughs> Brought up a good point there. Woods has been really good for Franchise. These last two drives there are now Franchise. Up to 150 yards total offense, starting to get it going. These are all late development routes. You're going to try and have to come down here and get Bo running like a man possessed. They've got Bo's strength and his toughness. They've got that down pat, but Bo's faster than that. <laughs> Bo could have hit that hole, man, and been gone for, uh, for a six right there. Well, well they're, they're comparing Bo to the new speed guys. Now you have a lot of guys. Everybody runs 4-2, 4-3, 4-4. Back in the day, it was the, the speed disparity was so different that you had to make him way faster than everybody in the game because the <laughs> next closest person was who? Marcus Allen? Oh, look at Bo, Bo Jackson. Knows the end zone. Running hard right through oh, Ice's he, oh, defense. I, and here comes the trash talking. He's trying to rattle the youngster. He is. Uh, he the is. youngster has a quiet there confidence. It is. He's trying to get into that zone. I He's wonder, gonna have to I, put the best drive of his life. I wonder what Ice is listening to. Is it music or is it white noise? Because he's got a two-and-out franchise right now. Franchise is going to show he's gonna do some fighting right now. He and might not have, with the fist, but that's what they call it in Madden. He's 
He's really excited and enthusiastic, if you will. If I'm ice, I'm, li I'm listening to Les Brown. I need some motivation. <laughs> No, if I'm Ice, I'm rocking the Cardi B. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going with the Bodak Yellow. you going Bodak Yellow. Bodak like Yellow. That. You know what I'm going with since we're going to talk about music? I'm going, the, the perfect song for this situation is Victory by Diddy. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. The sun don't shine forever, but as long as we're here, then we might as well shine together. together. Maybe Absolutely. now or never, business before pleasure. Let's see what the youngster got for us. I was just trying to remix the Bodak Yellow <laughs> to I don't dance now, I make mad moves. <laughs> He's got B if he wants to hit him. Oh, be careful. Oh, oh. great job there. Got Stefan Diggs. Boy, living dangerously there. A lot of great completions on those corner routes, but we've seen him pick once yeah. as well. Got to be careful. Well, you got you to you hope that your receiver can make the play for you and, and make sure that he comes back for the ball. It's important. He doesn't need seven. Seven to win it, three to tie it. Got some he folks. Has plenty of time. Just wanted to let, uh, bring this to your attention. Got some folks on Twitter talking about how great this commentary has been, but they love that you've got the hate that runs deep for the Pats, and oh, they see. love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you guys were a fun bunch. Even when I was in Boston and I was covering the Pats, and now, you know, I cover the Jets working at SNY. It was just great being a part of that rivalry, man. With, when you guys came up to Foxborough and, and did that number on New England. Never well, you know, seen anything of, like it. It's one of those things. Listen, the, the New England Patriots is a tremendous organization. You know, they kind of like the Duke or the Yankees of, of, of baseball. They always win. And, you know, we wanted to come and interrupt their, their regularly scheduled programming and say, <laughs> hey, listen, why not us? And, you know, Rex Ryan bringing that attitude from Baltimore, you know, uh, organization that had always been successful. You know, we had tremendous belief in ourselves and we knew we had the talent. Didn't always go our way, but we still believed it. No, absolutely. Back-to-back -back AFC Championship games, I believe, in 9 and 10 there, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. They call me Good Luck Chuck. I went to three consecutive AFC Championships, one with Flacco his rookie year. That's right, 08, yep. And, and whoever beat us always won the championships. They call me Good Luck Chuck. <laughs> Second down and three here as we approach the two-minute warning. Oh, Ice with the ball, play. down by three. Two-minute warning. Coleman off the left side, and we're going to hit that two-minute warning. Right now, he, he's in great. He's in field goal position. What you don't want to do is score too early, but if it presents itself, you have to really depend and lean on your defense. His defense has been huge for him. Three interceptions, but you got to try and make sure that you can milk this clock a little bit if you can. Perfectly, you would like to take out another minute off the clock and then get the score. And the gun bunch hands off to his tailback, Coleman. That's exactly what he should be doing. Milking this clock, franchise, the old veteran that he is, not going to just jump and call a timeout. Second down at 11. He needs to let this clock run down, Larry. I promise you. Absolutely. Under a buck 40 left. Tight ball game, a three-point game. Be careful there. Did not hold on to it. Didn't hold on to it and also stopped the clock. He left 12 seconds on the clock. He could have ran an additional 12 seconds off. I hope that doesn't come. Or he's going to hope that doesn't come back to bite him in the butt. As an incomplete pass stops it, now it's third down. He has to pick it up or kick the field goal, leaving plenty of time for the franchise to have time to go down and score. Time won't be an issue. He's going to have to lean on his defense if he can't pick this third down up. Back in his offensive playbook, gun bunch. Coleman offset to the right. Got the blitz coming. Got him across the middle. And he picked up. Oh! Tried to hold on. Team Had the first Holden, down. One of the most reliable receivers in the game. Choking. That's just an all-out choke. You well, can't ask your quarterback to do more to sit in the pocket, deliver it, throw a dime, and you let him down like that. Tragic. You're going to get hit anyway, so you might as well catch it. That's what our coaching star was say, right? Tragic. Fourth and 11. Going to try the field goal. By my math, it looks like it's going to be from about 44 yards. The kick, it's up, and it is good. It's true. And we are tied. A buck 27 left in the game. 13 apiece. The youngster bobbing his head, trying to keep franchise out of it. 127. Do you take, do you, do you ignore Bo Jackson and say, hey, I got to take away Woods and Rice? I think the complete playbook is open. I think you got everything is available to you because both guys have their full complement of timeouts. They can pretty much do whatever they want. So what you're saying is 
Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. By any means necessary. Oh, this is when the chess match comes in. And he's Bo Jackson going off the right hand Jackson. side. Got some room. Going to old Bo Jackson. <laughs> Bo 15 <laughs> rushes for 74 yards. Respectable. Starting to pick it up a little bit with those elbow pads on Bo Jackson. Second down and inches, hands it off. Once again, he's got room. That hit stick is coming, though. Boy, what a collision that was. But that's Bo Jackson, baby. Tick, 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 tick. Plenty of time, like you said. I feel like he's trying to put that rabbit, to put that carrot in front of his face, get him to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Trying to get in the field goal range. Clearly is the play here. Bo Jackson, plenty of room off the right side. Breaks a tackle, a gain of about 17. Oh, this is... Oh. Almost hit the century mark. He's got 99 yards rushing, but Bo Jackson does, uh, Bart. First Running and 10. Bo three times in a row. The field goal from here would be from 58, so he's pretty much in field goal range. Another five yards, and it's very makeable. So if you're ice, you got to start thinking about those timeouts. There he is to Devion Clowney. Run commit. Gets into the backfield. Drops Bo Jackson for a loss of two. Second down and 12, 31 seconds left, Bart. If I'm ice, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I use my timeouts because you want to put the pressure on them by the clock and hope that your defense can stand up. Absolutely great call there by you, Bart. Second down and 12. Tied at 13. Franchise with the ball. At the 42, call it. Field goal from here would be from about 59. He's going to go for the pass. and hits Bo Jackson in the flat. Oh, great move there. Bo Chopped again. down by Ed Reed, but a gain of about 10. Bo, 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 Bo. It's been an all Bo drive going Third down at five. From here would be from about... Got him in the oh, flat. Oh, he gets tackled inbounds. Surprising he's that got, he didn't he's, go. He's got the last time out. Fourth and five here. Surprising that he didn't go for the run to get some positive yardage. From about 52, 53. Gonna Does be snapped around the 34. It's a beautiful day at MetLife Stadium. I don't see any wind in it being a factor, so it's not any a lot of a swirling wind in this stadium. So I don't know. This is I don't know if whether it be a practice. Let's see if he has enough leg. Huge field here. Actually, he's going for it. Fourth and five. Maybe to try to draw him off sides. He cannot be going for this, can he? He can't go for this. You're not going to kick the field goal? I think we a banana, but he doesn't have any timeouts. He's not going for this. He's trying to draw him off sides. I'm oh. giving him the benefit of the doubt. He's not going for this, right? He's going to take the five-yard penalty and make it a 58-yard. Oh, he's going to have to go for it now. <laughs> he is going to take the penalty. Wow, that is tremendous faith in your kicker. Mm. Can we have, is it, would this be the first overtime? Of this Jets championship, yes, but not. Okay. Not, not the championship. I thought man. we were breaking ground here. No, no, no. Had plenty of overtime games. Uh, if you go to overtime, it's regular NFL rules, you know. Wow, is he punting the ball? Wow, this is huge. Well, I know that he did not have confidence in his kicker, but. Why don't you kick the 52 with the 53 yarder? Why not give it a shot? Wow, playing for overtime. I don't even mind missing my train for this one because it's already gone. Stuck like I, Chuck. I'm stunned. I, you you, you got to try that field goal. Why, why take the penalty then? I, I think the lights might be a, a bit bright right now. If you are who you say you are, <laughs> a superstar, then have no fear. We are heading to overtime live here at MetLife Stadium inside Brian? the Toyota Club for the Madden 18 Jets Championship presented by Reach and Jay. And yes, that man, franchise, and that kid right there. Young, don't care about ice. We're tied at 13, heading to overtime. Regular NFL rules. You get the ball, you score a touchdown, you win. If not, the other guy gets a chance to just kick a field goal. And don't care about ice. Gets the ball first. The ball. 
Dare to be great, young fella. I'm not picking anybody, but dare to be great. I just want to see a great ball game, and we've seen that. Dare you to be said great. that low-scoring games can be exciting too, right? Absolutely. Defensive people have good families too. Back in that gun bunch. He's got to be careful. You're going to see a lot of runs here. He understands that you throw a pick. Time isn't an issue right now. It's all about putting together your best drive. If you're a franchise, you just want to hold them to a field goal or get a turnover. Who Second down and four for Ice. Who has reservations with Mickey? Watch oh. out. Got a receiver, and it's caught. No, no. Stephon Diggs once again cannot hold on to it. Paul Krause is a beast in Madden. I tell you what, this goes back to, to, to your mutt money, right? You know, you, you get good receivers, but you don't have that one go-to great receiver like a Randy Moss, like a Terrell Owens, somebody that maybe costs a little more, but that's going to come up with a big catch when you need it. Third Who's down and four. 50, 50 ball. You got B. But you, why? We can hit Diggs across the middle. And that's another first down, and he's close, getting very close to field goal range around the 40-yard line. First down and 10, Stephon Diggs, a pretty big day. Five catches, 80 yards for Stephon Diggs. So first and 10 at the 36. Four, don't care about ice. Remember, a touchdown wins it. Hands it off. Oh, he had room oh. on the left side. He blew it. Oh, he had a hole. He bounced. He mm. bounced. He got nervous. Would have easily gained about 8 to 10 yards there. Great blocking up front by his O-line. You can't go roll when the play is designed to go a certain place. Unless you see something, you got to stick with the game plan. In overtime, don't care about ice. Carson Wentz taking off. You got B. You... Didn't hit him. Instead, scrambles with Carson Wentz. Picks up about two or three. Third down and seven. Good job of staying near that sideline. Big play here for Franchise. Third down and seven. Big play. Here for don't care about ice. Can he pick up the first down? Oh, he's got B. Good throw there. Toe, toe drag, tap. swag. Had him on the corner route all along. That safety couldn't quite get over there, Bart. Oh, man. I like. Can you say that again for me? I like how you say that. Toe, drag, swag. Ooh. We need to put that on the T-shirt. First and ten. You got Kobe running to the left side. Will he get in there? He's inside the five, down to about the three. First and goal for the 18-year-old. Don't care about ice, a.k.a. My government name is George Schwartz. And I came here from Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Jim Thorpe. Oh, man. Can cut this tension with a knife. First and goal, Coleman up the right side, bottled up by Bosa and company. Second down and goal. What do you do here, Bart? Do you run it? Do you throw it? You got to keep it on the ground, right? I tell you what, he's had success with running to the edges, but this is goal line type of defense. Do you have a big time? This is when you need a big receiver that you can kind of throw the fade to and jump up and get it. A big tight end or maybe move a tight end out to a receiver and throw him a jump ball. He's got some little smurfs out there. He's got Stephon Diggs and guys like that. Coming off the left side, if he could have hit it to the left, uh, he had a walk-in touchdown. He, had a he didn't walk see it. Touchdown. Oh, wow. Stevie That's two Wonder runs Wonder right there. there. Stevie Wonder saw it. The light's getting to him, Bart. It's getting to him. Oh, uh, pressure bust a pipe. <laughs> These lights are getting to him. Third and goal from the three-yard line for Young. Don't care about ice. For me, this is two down territory. He's got Coleman on the inside. Almost had a butt fumble there. <laughs> Almost. Oh my. <laughs> and that will do it. We have a Madden 18 Jets champion. Shocker. A Don't shocker. About ice. And I'm talking all at MetLife. It's the 18 year old George Schwartz, AKA Don't Care About Ice. What a game that was for the second wow. straight week. The championship of a club championship goes into overtime. Last week it was Killer Mike in Seattle with the Seahawks. And how about don't care about ice? He said going he the distance, getting the touchdown, moving on to Orlando. This isn't soccer, wow. but I just feel like I need to say, go! <laughs>
I will come back to the quote. You know, I keep my handy note cards here. I said, what do you want to do? What do you think about your opponent? I don't know. I'm going to win. Say That's the, the quote chest. of the night. Say I'm going to win. That's what he kept saying. He spoke it into existence almost, Bart. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. And he said he <laughs> came to win, and he put his money where his mouth is. He's going to Orlando. He's going to see Mickey Mouse. Just take me with you because I'm balling on a budget. Yes, yes, we are balling on a budget. We've got kids and wives and and folks to take care of. So congratulations. Uh, I want to say congratulations to Nick Arroyo. Franchise came here, uh, a great player. Look, was in the Madden 17 championship in Burbank back in May. Here's a guy that's one of the top 20, top 30 players in Madden. And this young kid just took him down. Great job there by Don't Care About Ice. I know he's going to be happy going back to Jim Thorpe, PA. I just saw his mom a little while ago. Hey, brother. Dinner's on you, man. You ain't getting out of here until you take care of me and Bart. We know you want something today. Hey, man, way to represent, way to represent. I mean, you talk about tremendous confidence. You say he was, wasn't even old enough to participate yesterday. He took full advantage. It wasn't a big scouting report out for him. He did his due diligence. And he, listen, he had confidence. He dared to be great today. And today you have to say he's a great player. They're going to know about him from now on. Today he is great. He is going to be one of 32 competitors going down to Orlando that will be playing in the Madden Club Championship uh, during the Pro Bowl weekend. I believe that's the last weekend in January. And we're speaking of the Madden 18 Jets champion. He is Don't Care About Ice, and he's standing by right now with EA. Not EA Sports, but Eric Allen, yeah. our EA. EA, what's up? Thanks, Larry. Well, Ice, you did it. Extra session. What do you think about that overtime victory? I went down the field and got seven. I knew if I got the ball first, I was winning the game. Uh, well, at the end of the game there, end of regulation, he decided to punt. Were you expecting a field goal attempt there? I didn't think he could make it from 53 yards anyway, so I was just praying, to be honest. What do you think about that close of the game? You took the lead early, he came back, you took a couple punches, and then you, you delivered the final blow. I threw a world record number of picks. It was a really bad game by me, but I fought and won. Yeah. You got a big responsibility, Ice. You're going to be representing the New York Jets down in Orlando at the club championships. How excited are you for that? I hear Orlando is really nice in January. So, yeah, <laughs> it's cold. It's cold in Pennsylvania. Hey, hey Ice, Ice, before this one, you guaranteed a victory. You guaranteeing a victory down in Orlando? Yeah, of course. What? Like, yeah. How about this guy? There's a tremendous amount of confidence. We got a big box of goodies for you with the win, keyboard, mouse pad, a ton of stuff in there. Ice, great job. A thrilling victory here at MetLife Stadium. Congratulations. And the and ticket? Where, where is Ice's ticket? Here it is. You gonna hold that? Okay. Congratulations once again, Ice. Good stuff there.